folks. Today I'm in Wan Chai, Hong Kong, and bringing you to another great restaurant. This time, Osteria Mazi. Now, this is North, sorry, coastal Italian seafood. Chef Na Mangam Pon, I think is her name, uh, is originally from the Philippines, but trained in New York and Italy. And this place looks really good. The menu is right up my alley. Wen Chai is a fun part of town. I'll tell you a little bit about it and then let's check out this restaurant. So Wen Chai is known as a party town. It's full of bars, but there's also some nice little pockets of old Hong Kong culture there that are worth exploring. There's also loads of money around. So of course, like most of Hong Kong Island, supercars abound. The restaurant itself is meant to be, as I said, coastal style Italian seafood, and I'm really looking forward to try it. We've arranged to try a selection of their most popular dishes. Now, as we take a look through the menus, keep in mind these are Hong Kong dollars, so divide it all by about eight to get to the US dollar prices. A couple of the dishes we're having, we will be trying the hamachi and the oysters, also the scallops and the grilled cuttlefish. The grilled bread came with a side of butter and anchovies. This is your oysters from Brittany, coming from France. And as well, in the middle, you have a mignonette with some shallots and red wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna also add some Lambrusco, which is a red sparkling wine yeah. from Italy. It's gonna balance with the acidity of the red wine vinegar. I've never seen that before. Nice. So the oysters from Brittany are not very salty, but lovely texture and flavor, and they're so right. The the Lambrusco does nicely balance out the, the flavor of the vinegar. It's a great match. As nice as the oysters were, I actually preferred the scallops. This is the Osteria cocktail served with a French oyster in it. It was a bit strong for my liking, but it went down just fine. And you know, you do kind of lose the oyster flavor amongst all that alcohol, but it does add a nice little briny kick to it. So this is one of their signature dishes. This is hamachi with a cherry tomato, I think he said it was, dressing and microgreens. And it looks and smells fantastic. It's actually a lot thicker sliced fish than I would have expected. Tomato. Mm, look at that. It's basically a piece of sashimi, or a dozen pieces. Bon appetit. I will take this Italian style hamachi with tomato over the American tradition of adding jalapeno peppers to it. Any day. Could use something a little sharp in there though. I feel very mild. Every one of the dishes, the seafood, you could tell was fantastic quality, but maybe it's just this style of Italian coastal seafood. I felt like the dressings, which were still, you know, rich in Italian flavors, often actually overpowered the seafood a little bit, so you were more tasting the sauce than the individual seafood ingredients.
Next was the main course, an entire fish which they then filleted and presented at the table. It came with quite a heavy sauce and zucchini fries. It was delicious, but again, this was one if you put it with the sauce, the sauce kind of owned the flavors in the dish. Finished up with a glass of their house-made limoncello, which was absolutely delicious. I think I preferred that to the cocktail even. Definitely a nice restaurant to go for a date. It's fairly new in Wan Chai, away from the hustle and bustle of the Hong Kong streets. If you're in that area, go check them out.